CBT Practice at Northwell Health Physician Partners provides cutting-edge gold standard treatment for mental health conditions. What CBT, or Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, does is it teaches you the skills to become your own therapist, to be able to think through and analyze yourself and analyze your reactions, and it also teaches you the strategies to cope with whatever is bothering you. Most treatments for CBT for a specific diagnosis help within six months or less. The structure of treatment is usually the first three sessions are more of an assessment. Once we do that assessment, we would introduce what's called the treatment plan and explain to the patient what they can expect to get in treatment. Then we move into what's called the treatment phase. And treatment phase, that's where we get to the proactive part. We're providing goal-oriented treatment that is specialized to each individual patient. A lot of times in the real world, it's very hard to find an expert person who really knows cognitive behavioral therapy, who does take insurance. Here at Northwell Health, we take many insurances. In our office, we offer telehealth services, which are helpful for patients not needing to come into the office. We treat a variety of ages, children, adolescents, and adults. I have the privilege of spearheading Northwell CBT at a satellite site in Mineola, and I get to provide evidence-based care for students in the surrounding school districts there. CBT really is tremendously helpful for individuals with various anxiety and mood disorders. A lot of times people come into therapy saying like, I want my anxiety to go away. And we really work with them to reframe that thought. Like anxiety is not something that's bad. It's a natural human emotion that has positive elements. But at some point it comes to the level where anxiety is interfering with our life. We're feeling undue distress. We're not able to do the things that are important to us. And it's messing things up for us. What CBT does is it targets that avoidance and escape that's causing problems in people's lives. We use a number of different techniques to help patients to be present, to be mindful, and to face some of the fears that they have in a gentle way that's very supportive. And the interventions that we use here are highly effective. And so patients that come to see us are really getting the best cutting edge treatment that's available. One of our main treatments that we have for all sorts of anxiety disorders is called exposure therapy. In exposure therapy, we learn how to confront our fears. So step by step, we build a ranked ordered list of the things that we're afraid of, and your therapist will help you confront those fears. Exposure therapy is one of the most effective components in treating almost all types of anxiety. Gently, gradually helping patients to face things that they've been avoiding will help patients to do exercises in session. By doing this regularly, you start to teach your brain like, wow, this isn't actually dangerous and I can cope with feeling uncomfortable. That's how we can work with patients going step by step to help them break some of these patterns and to make decisions about what they want in their life, not have their anxiety be the one making decisions. For depression, we try to help people re-experience fun again to do things that they enjoy or they used to enjoy and they don't think they're going to enjoy anymore. It's called either behavioral activation or opposite action. We're acting opposite of whatever the emotional urges are so that they can renew their uh, experience with fun and with meaning and values. We're a team here. We get to collaborate with each other and we get to learn from each other constantly. We have weekly team meetings with other clinicians on staff, and we often talk to each other about cases, picking the brains of other CBT clinicians that are really experts in their field. And you really get the benefit of not just our own training and expertise, but the expertise from different members of the team. All clinicians at the practice go to what we call Grand Rounds, which are weekly lectures within the hospital to stay up to date on upcoming research, different techniques. We also go to continuing ed lectures, we go to conferences, to really make sure that we're providing the best up-to-date care for everybody coming into the practice. A lot of people feel a big sense of stigma coming for mental health treatment, coming for psychotherapy. Sometimes people feel like they're weak or less than or that they're, they're broken. They're not. 47% of us in this country will have a mental health diagnosis at some point in time. So what we do is we empower our patients. We teach them the right tools, the right techniques, the right strategies to figure out how to cope with their problems, helping our patients achieve their potential. I and the other psychologists strive to be humble, to make the therapy process about the patient and what's important to them. 
where patients feel safe sharing things about their life that are difficult for them to accept. And I hope they feel supported in that journey. The ultimate goal with CBT is for clients to be able to independently recognize their own thoughts, behaviors, and actions, and feel confident and competent in being able to manage their own mood, their own anxiety symptoms, and to help people really excel and live their lives in a happier way.